Hello everyone, it's Alex. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, sprite sheets and what I'm planning to, to bring in version 2.5 in order to support you to have uh, better use of sprite sheets animations into Quick. So let's just start seeing what we can do today in version 2.4. This is a simple project here. Uh, I have this pink rectangle which is going to be a button. There is no actions for that yet. Uh, I just set the button and the layer. Layer is the background as a vector, so no need to export images in this project. As well as I create two big blocks of black, uh, and I set or add two different sprite sheets uh, to which one I'm going to show you. But before even doing that, let me show you the sheets. Uh, both of them uh, were kindly sent to me from Francois Walters. Uh, one of quick authors, quick users, which is doing one of the most amazing apps that uh, I have seen, made it quick uh, uh, already. So let me show you. So in this first sheet here, he just made uh, a horse uh, running. And the second one here, he made a more complex one. There's lots of different characters here. and. We are going to use some of them in, in this example. So these are the two sheets that we are going to use here. All right, so let's go back to the project. Let's let's start with the, the Chiva one, which is this big, uh, the, the, the big one. It's going to be the horse. I came here, select uh, the, the layer, came to the sprite, a uh, layer replacement, select the sprite sheet. And pretty much what I did was I filled out with his information. So Shiva PNG is the, the horse file that I, I just showed you. Also he made this in Texture Packer. So I just point to the, the, the file that Texture Packer already builds for quick. I don't have any need to fill out anything here because it comes from from this information here in the top. The only thing that I did was to set it's nine frames because there is nine poses of the, the horse there and I'm gonna play it forever, okay? So when I did the same for the frog, I select uh, the small shower, which is this the second one with lots of things. I know that the, the frog started in frame 15 and it has four poses for, for the frog. And I'm gonna play it three times, okay? So I'm gonna reverse uh, after last frame. So let me just to confirm. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. In fact, there are four, uh, five options. Can come again here in the frog and update it's five. So when I create, I'm gonna publish it. Okay, and I publish it. Here it goes. We have the both animation set as you can do today in Quick 2.4. Okay, let let let's check the the. The project again. Let's create another one. Let's let me create another one here. I'm gonna call this bird. Okay, and uh, again I'm gonna create a black area for the bird. Oops, I just I can do this now. Bird here and remove this one. And let me come back here in the small share. I know the bird is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it was fifteen here. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me pick something here. I'm gonna play here 22. In fact, I know how to get that. So all I have to do is to come here in, in the in the current sheet that for that quick just created. And I will see that the bird starts here. So bird in fact is gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4. It's gonna start in the 5. And it's gonna be five, five and five. So it's, it's a trick that I use to, to capture because the, the information is already in the texture pack uh, code. So I'm gonna come here again and select a small char. I have to repeat all the process, okay? And select it. So it's gonna start in five, go to five, the frame size. I'm gonna play forever as well, okay? I create this, I'm gonna play again. And now you have the bird. Okay, this is the way pretty much everyone is using Quake as of today. There are some few 
concerns and issues here. The first one is, uh, you saw it already, for every time that you have a big spreadsheet with lots of different animations, you have to enter all the information every time that you create a new layer and you need to put a spreadsheet replacement there. This is one of the issues. The, the other issue is, let's, let's uh, check the code. As you can see here, we have the Shival, importing the Shival PNG here. So it comes the frog, I have the information for the frog, and it comes the bird, and I have the same information for the bird if you, we compare with the frog. So even in this case, we are just using one file, but we are importing it and loading it into memory more than one time. So it's consuming memory and time, of uh, processing time in your final application. So I did a few modifications here uh, for Quake 2.5. Let me pause here and start again now with 2.5. Now we are in Quake 2.5. It's the first beta that I'm, I'm still uh, coding at this moment. So let's remove this bird here, okay? And let's create it again. Okay, again, select the layer, sprite sheets, replacement, and now, as you can see, the window is a little bit different than the window that you are so familiar with at this moment. The first thing that you notice uh, that we will notice is uh, I've tried I, I I've been trying to expand all the windows horizontally instead of vertically because some users are still using old monitors with lower resolution, so some of them are not able to see a few buttons. So that's why uh, this trend of expanding horizontally will be. Uh, more common from now on. But the first thing that uh, you note here uh, is lots of new things, in fact. Let's start with the, the, the first thing here, uh, which is, as you remember, the bird uh, is part of this small share uh, sheet, and it's just one of the sequences inside the small sh uh, share. So you can you could come here and do exactly what you did in the past, what you are, in fact, you are doing Quick 2.4, which is pointing to all the files like we did before in the, in the previous example. But because now Quick knows that there are already two sheet files in, in the project, you can just come here and say, use the same sheet as a frog. Because if you remember, it's the same as Moshar, in the frog, and you notes I read that because you did that, I did that. Quick, I read, uh, enter all the information that I need because he knows and gets this information from the original frog um, layer. Uh, let's not expend much time here in the sequence. Is still I'm gonna cover it in the, the next example. So just start frame five, frame count five. The next thing that you see is now you have this option to uh, create uh, add two sheet files automatically if need. What it does is if quick detects that your project is uh, a new uh, universal project or a new uh, iPad project, a project that needs more than one uh, image, same size image, for example, you need a higher resolution image for a retina display and a lower resolution for non retina display. Quick will automatically create uh, a two sheet file for you. That two sheet file in Quick is a file that has a lower resolution than the original file. Okay, so in the past people were creating it manually and trying to tweak Quick's code on that. But the thing is now in Quick 2.5, uh, it will do it for you automatically. So you don't need to create it by yourself. If you do, that's fine. But if not, Quick uh, uh, will create. Uh, it for you. And one thing that is interesting, uh, Quick we use the same uh, screen ratio used for the other images. Because if you decide to create it by yourself by hand, when you have a project for the uh, new iPad and create a uh, add to sheet for the, the iPad, it's a simple thing. You just divide by two and that's it. But depending on the project that we have, uh, you, you have here the iPhone 5, for example, has a different screen ratio. Quick use a different number than 0.5. So it will use the same for your spreadsheet. So again, in doubt, leave it to uh, Quick to create it for you. And if you don't need it, if Quick detects that your project, in my case here, it's an iPad project. It's not necessary. Quick will not do anything for you in this case. So let's create. Let's publish. And you see the results seems to be the same, the same as you had in Quick 2.4. The difference are in fact in the Lua code. 
if you remember in the in version 2.4 it created a Shivao entry because Shiva was the first uh, image sheet that was needed it uh, quick 2.5 is still creates a frog sheet because frog sheet is the first one but for the burden because it's using the same PNG file quick will not uh, import it again into your project so again if you are using lots of sprite sheets on your, uh, in your particular scene for example it's great because quick uh, handles that perfectly for you uh, and no more duplicities it's automatically so a huge improvement in performance for for your apps so let's see another example let's create another uh, another file here another layer I'm gonna use again a black and I'm gonna build it here I and mean, it's too big okay size is not important in our example um, and I'm gonna use now uh, let's pick another object here let's let's take the B okay from one two four with B selected I'm gonna come here and create a new one so I can come here and say you know what I'm gonna use it like we did it's gonna be the example from Shiva frog from bird but at the end what we need in this example is we need the B or the bird not both Okay, we're gonna start with the bird, but uh, when the user clicks this uh, pink button here, we're gonna change, switch the bird to the B. So I don't need to create another sprite sheet uh, replacement and make it hidden like you have to do today with Quick. And if the user press the button, what you do is you hide your current sprite sheet and bring back the other one. So it's a little bit more complicated. So that's uh, why we have the concept of sequence. So I'm gonna cancel here. And again, I'm gonna delete this B. I don't need this B. It's gonna be everything happening with bird. So I can come back to bird, say, okay. So this is the bird flying frames from five to with five. I can come here now and say, okay, this is my bird. This is the sequence that I call bird. I'm gonna call bird. I'm gonna press this uh, this button here, our new sequence. When I do that, quick saves the information that I enter as a sequence. So this is the bird, okay? Start with frame five, goes to frame to, to five and will loop forever. So now I need the B sequence. I want the B here. It's going to start in frame one, and there's four. Okay? And this is everything that I need. So I can come back here and say, I'm going to add this sequence. So now this sheet uh, replacement has two sequences. Bird is, this, the, is the, the full one, it's the first one. So if you create the sequence, the first one is going to always be the default one meaning that this is gonna be the one that users will see for the first time, okay? But you, you are gonna see in a while that you have you will have now an option to switch sequences or to play different sequences. So hopefully you got the concept here. Now we have just one file and two different sequences here. And we could keep creating other sequences because if you see here, there are other stuffs, stuff happening in this in this this file but anyways we just use this for example so we are going to create this and let's play again nothing has happened because again the bird is the default one the bird will always play until we tell quick somehow to play the B sequence so that's what we have this button here let's select a button and let's create a button and let's go to the sprites play sprite in quick to uh 2.4 you just see this part here play with sprites sprite bird sprite frog sprite uh, chival but now because we select sprite bird which is what we want we have this option here sequence okay there are sequence bird and b if i select chival there is no sequence so quick will automatically play the default for you so in our case we want the bird sequence and we want to play now the B sequence okay so let's create this and this is gonna be our button and now let's publish so everything as usual until I come here and click the button and now I have the B playing 
Okay. Hopefully you are so excited as I am with the concept of uh, sequence playing from just one uh, sprite sheet uh, replacement. And this is just the beginning for a quick 2.5. In the next video, I'm going to show you a few other things that are uh, in development. So take care. Bye bye.